What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do the daily reading for today, June 7th. It is Wednesday, Wednesday, June 7th, 2023. We're going to go ahead and tap in and see what is going on with the collective. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. I hope y'all are well. Y'all are having a good day. I just woke up from a nap, y'all. Like, I'm trying to shake it off. Okay, period. Let's see. Ooh, this popped out. So somebody that y'all blocked is like blowing up y'all phone. Yeah, it says X on here. So some of you, um, my ex keep calling. Who sing that song? Something about somebody's ex still calling. So somebody keep trying to call your phone or they're trying to reach out to you. But for some of you, you had this person blocked. So for some of you, you're just not answering their calls or their number is actually blocked. So you can't even see that they've been trying to reach out to you. But let's see. What's the message for the collective spirit? What is going on? Let's see. We got goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes. Wait, goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes are not the end. They simply mean I'll miss you until we meet again. So for some of you, you're breaking up with somebody or you're leaving somebody behind or you decide to cut somebody off. You're just like, maybe it's just not meant to be in this lifetime. Maybe the next one. But for now, I got to go. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's definitely a breakup or a separation here. Y'all yeah, getting this is hard. For some of you, it's hard to try to ignore this person. Um... Yeah, we got warrior goddess because some of you are standing in your power. You're taking back your strength. Um, these lions on this card. Some of you could be a Leo. So you have Leo placements. But yeah, like a lot of you are taking your power back. Warrior goddess, you're refusing to unblock somebody. You're refusing to answer the phone. You're really trying to stay strong and, and stand in your power. Let's see. What is this about spirit? June 7th. I can hear my ex calling. I don't know who sang that song. It's some artist. It's a dude. A darker complected. He sang. I don't know what that song called. I can hear my ex calling. Some of you, this is like um. Some of you, this person is calling you like uh spiritually. Like some of you can you can keep like you might keep seeing this person's name or hearing this person's name or hearing a song you used to listen to. Like, so, so for some of you, this person is calling out to you, like from the 5d It's like, they're sending you like a bat signal and shit. Yeah. It says reaching out. It says, have you asked for help with this? Yeah. This person may be needing your help message in a bottle, but for some reason it's like the message isn't reaching you or it is, but you're ignoring it. Yeah, judgment. I thought judgment is a phone call. This somebody somebody is really trying to get in contact with you, collective. Like, who the fuck is this? Somebody is really trying to reach out to you. You know, judgment can indicate looking in the mirror. So this person could have had an epiphany. They could have came to some sort of decision lately, or they could have finally looked at their own reflection. But for some reason, this person's trying to reach out to you. I mean, judgment also can indicate like a second chance. So this person may be wanting to like. I don't know. They definitely want to talk to you on the phone for sure. But I don't know what this is they want to say. Yeah, this person is freeing them freeing themselves from their demons. Look at this. You see how them skeletons like going up in the air. It's like somebody's calling judgment on themselves. They finally took a look at themselves in the mirror. It's crabs down here too. Some of you this could be a cancer. But somebody is definitely trying to reach out to you. Like real shit. Yeah, but on the bottom of the deck, it says narcissistic abuse. So this is somebody who abused you or was really like narcissistic towards you in the past. Somebody who abused your love, who took advantage of you. Somebody who could even physically abuse you. They could have verbally abused you. Yeah, this is someone you recover from. Somebody with a sociopathic personality. Yeah, fallen angel and earth angel. So yeah, this person has fell from grace. Yeah, and they don't know what to do. Eight of Swords is back here. And this could have this could have been somebody that you feel like you it was your true love. You know what I'm saying? That's why the first card I would say is goodbyes are not forever. So maybe you you come to the conclusion and accepted the fact that you and this person 
weren't meant to be or weren't meant to come together in this lifetime because they refuse to um, acknowledge their own behavior, take accountability, work on themselves. But at the same time, judgment is out here. So I feel like this person is trying to take accountability now, but it's kind of too late. You know what I'm saying? It's like they woke up too late. Like real shit. It's like this person keeps trying to reach out to you telepathically or some of you, this person is actually calling your phone. Let's see what is this. Yeah, I told you. Look at this. Are those numbers synchronicities? You can be seeing 222, 444, 333, 555, 12, 12, 11, 11. Like, you keep getting signs and synchronicities. Like, it feels like something's getting ready to change here. Or, like, something is getting ready to happen because you chose to, like, ignore this person or you made a final decision with the judgment here to move on from this person and now something else is getting ready to come in you keep seeing the signs and synchronicities which is why you're ignoring each other yeah i feel like something here this this energy feels like it's something overlapping it feels like you've let go it's it's almost just like you're like please like i'm hearing somebody like please please hurry up hurry up it's like you're waiting on something new to come in so you won't be tempted by this person trying to reach out for you. Some of you are like, God, please hurry up. Please, please, please let this change happen. Let this come in for me. Da, da, da. It's like you're waiting on something to happen, waiting on something to come in so you can make your move, so you can move on. Because if not, for some of you, you may feel like it's getting harder and harder to try to ignore this person or something. Hmm. Let's see. I can hear my ex calling. You know who sing that song? You can drop it in the comments. Yeah, this card came back out. Narcissistic abuse. Yeah, so some of you escaped the narcissist. You got away from this person. You're free. You're safe. And you're trying to keep it that way. So it's like before this person finds you, before this person reaches out to you again, before this person shows back up, it's just like, God, please, like, make a way. Please change. Please bring in something. Something here. Some of you could be waiting on a job or getting the okay to move somewhere. Or it's just like you're just waiting on something. Yeah, connecting with your ancestors. Yeah, I told you. Y'all y'all are praying. Y'all y'all are praying. You are talking to your guys. You're like, God, please. Like, I don't know what's getting ready to happen next. But please make it happen because I do not want this person to. I don't want to get caught up in this narcissistic shit again. You know, a lot of you don't want to be verbally, mentally abused by this, whoever the fuck this retarded motherfucker is. I feel like for some of you, it could be a covert narcissist too. So this is somebody who likes to come off like they don't be doing shit. But yeah, earth angels out here. So this is y'all. Some of you could be a Virgo. But yeah, it's just like connecting with your ancestors and earth angel. Your ancestors got you. Okay. I don't say that. I, I see that out here because it's the narcissistic abuse. Your ancestors are right in the middle and then you got earth angels. So your ancestors are sitting in between you and this narcissistic person. Your ancestors not going to let this person get you. Like, so you can relax. You can take a deep breath. You don't have nothing to worry about. This person has, has been cut. They Their access to you has been revoked. Like, they can't. That's why this person can't reach you. That's why for some of you, this person has been reaching out to you, blowing up your phone and shit, and you haven't even got it you ain't even know this person's been calling you so for some of you these calls from this person have been coming through like telepathically because they don't have literal access to you in a 3d a lot of these people this narcissistic person they don't know your number anymore they don't know if you still live where you used to live they don't know if you live they don't know what kind of car you drive that it's been so long they don't know much about you no more and they keep trying to reach out to you and they can't find you so now they're trying to Reach out to you telepathically through song where you keep seeing this person's name and shit. Like, nah, nah, bruh. It ain't happening. Look, on the bottom of the deck, new love, period. <laughs> Spirit is keeping this person away from you because new love is getting ready to come in. Yeah, look at this shit. Right behind new love is seven of swords and the ex keep calling again. I hear my ex calling. Yeah, this person wants to keep you in a, in a jar. Control, spill, domination, and entrapment. But protection rituals out here. So some of you keep doing your keep doing your protection work. Keep ignoring this person. Keep praying this person away. Keep saging, Palo Santo, whatever you do to keep this person's energy out of yours. Keep doing it because it's working. Period. So, so you got a, a retarded motherfucker who keeps trying to reach out to you. Nah, baby, that ain't what we doing. Nah. 
this person is under judgment with the judgment card. That all the shit that they've done is catching up with their ass. So it's like now they trying to get back with you to save face. What what the fuck the collector supposed to do? Like how the fuck is the collector supposed to help you, huh? But this person may feel like reaching out to you because this is somebody who knows they did you dirty. This is somebody who knows they did you wrong. So they feel like if they come back towards you and try to act like they're fixing it, they won't be under judgment no more. Nah, bitch, they ain't had work. The deed has already been done, baby. Okay. Hey. So you have to pay that karmic debt back. Yeah, look at that. Alien, telepathic dreams and songs. I told you this person is showing up in your dreams, trying to reach out to you through songs. You could be seeing synchronicities or seeing this person's name and shit just every fucking way. It's just like nah. Bro. We're good. <laughs> the fuck? Alright, tell me what this is about. June 7th. June 7th, 2023. What's the message? Let's see. What's the message, Spirit? I can't hear my ex. I don't know why I keep saying that. I have not listened to that to that artist or any of his music. So that shit didn't start playing until I came in here to start doing this reading. But yeah, gossip is out here. It says petty, jealousy, envy. So yeah, y'all can have some haters. Y'all got some raggedy, stupid bitches out here who have the audacity. Yeah, because as soon as I open the deck, it's escapade. So some of you could be a queen of wands, you could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, or you have fire in your chart somewhere. Um, for some of you, you could be um, mixed race or biracial, could be with um, Vietnamese or Asian or something for some of you. Uh, but yeah, anyway, yeah, you got bitches hating. Look at this shit. Gossip and queen of wands. Uh-huh. These hoes are mad and jealous because some narcissistic person wants to be with you, but it's like you don't even want them. Like, it's some hating ass hoes, some dirty, low vibrational ass rat bitches who are jealous and hating and gossiping about you because some loser wants to be with you now. But it's just like, but you know, that's how low vibrational people operate. Like, to these bitches, whoever this person is, they keep trying to call you and all this type of shit. That person may be a hot commodity to, to these slow ass hoes, but to you, that person is nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like hoes is jealous because somebody that you don't want wants you. Okay. Anyway. Mm -hmm. It says racing, running, avoiding. So yeah, for some of you, you're not trying to be bothered with this person. You're avoiding them or this person is avoiding these hoes or something. Give me another card spirit. What is this about? Yeah, projected future days, weeks, or months. Yeah, so something is getting ready to happen in the next days, weeks, months. It's going to be a lot of changes taking place over the summertime for y'all. Let's see. Yeah, focus. It says fascinated eyes. It says eyes for you watching and fascinated. Told you somebody's extremely focused on you, okay? Like, oof. This shit, this energy is making me uncomfortable. Like, it's like somebody, like, com like constantly watching you. Yeah, it says receipts, proof, show me. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah, happiness. Leo energy out here. Wellness. I mean, it says wholeness over joy, smiling. So, yeah, I feel like this person is under judgment for something. There's some type of receipts out here, some proof. Uh, this red lipstick, somebody was cheating or somebody slipped with somebody they ain't had no business. Or there's something going on here. So, it's it's gossip going on about this situation. It could be involving a Leo. But, yeah, I don't know what the fuck this is. Yeah, Divine Masculine is on the bottom of the deck. Silence. Yeah, it's the same energy I keep picking up. It's like, these hoes are jealous because some masculine wants you. But, like... You don't even want this person. It's like somebody woke up too late. They didn't realize some shit too late. Or they didn't got caught up doing some shit. And so now it's just like they want to change. They want to save face. They want to try to fix things. Or want to make it seem like they're not really a bad person. They're not fucked up. Because I'm telling you, their judgment is heavy out here. Somebody here is really being harshly like ostracized, ridiculed. It's like people are wanting to cut this person off. 
not want shit to do with them because it has been exposed how this person was treating you or what they was doing or what they did. But at the same time, it's like, you're a fucking earth angel. Like, that's why this person's karma, this judgment is so harsh because you fuck with the wrong one, basically. Damn, motherfucker, you better leave them chosen ones alone. Like, real shit. So people be thinking it's a motherfucking game. Sorry, like people think it's a game until they life fall in the fucking park. Then they want to ask kids. Then it's, oh my God, I don't know what happened. I didn't mean to. Yes, you did, bitch. Sit on back and let karma work on that ass, okay? I'm going to have to turn this light on because I feel like it's getting dark. Hold on, hold on. Hopefully, that's better. But anyway, let's see. What is this about, spirit? got stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack yeah something just happened to this person they got done dirty they got exposed somebody tricked their ass mm -hmm. some somebody out here then got some karma served to them Ooh -wee. it says love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection and attraction yeah, we got girl talk. So, yeah, a lot of y'all are focused on y'all selves. Y'all are mind y'all business. Y'all focus on self-love. You have a supportive group of friends or people that you surround yourself with. Could be siblings that's helping you heal through a situation. It says time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So, yeah, a lot of you are doing you. You're not worried about this person. You're not worried about whatever this karma is that they just received, whatever they did, how they got stabbed in the back. Like, you don't care. Like, it's none of your business. You're focused on you, period. That's how you should be. Self-love, period. It's like you're moving on with your life. This person is totally focused on you because something just happened to them. They just experienced some type of karma recently. Mm -hmm, something backfired on their ass. Ooh yeah, photograph. It says looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Yeah, this person, I don't know what they were doing. Because I don't know how long you and this person been separated or how long you haven't been talking to this person. But whatever they was doing, it's like this person was under the impression that they were moving on from you, right? They were moving on from you. They ain't care about y'all memories or the past or, you know, this is somebody who they were so narcissistic. They did you dirty and then they caught themselves moving on with their life. They never apologized. They never said anything. They never tried to make it right. They just felt like, shit, it is what it is. Fuck you. I'm moving on. Whoever they would call myself moving on with, just stabbed them in the back. They they got their karma for, for doing you dirty. Somebody really, I'm talking about, look at this shit. I'm talking about somebody, whoever they were calling themselves moving on with and forgetting about you collective, somebody took that knife and dug deep in this motherfucking shit. Ooh, woo. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. They didn't even see this shit coming. <laughs> They didn't even see that shit coming, bro. Somebody got their ass so good. Ooh, shit. And now they looking at your photos. <laughs> Focus on you. Looking at your photos. Missing you. Nostalgia. Make new memories. Uh -huh. Now they want to come back because they feel like it's safer where you are. Like, they didn't went out here. They didn't fucked you over. Then went outside thinking they were doing something off. Fuck the collective. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, it is what it is. You know, I ain't going to. Somebody thought they was going to. They wasn't going to have to pay for whatever it is they did to you. Somebody really thought they never that shit would never come back around to them. And it did. Tell me somebody out here didn't believe fat meat is greasy, but oh, is it greasy, baby? Ooh wee. Now they sitting up and heartbroken looking at your pictures and shit. <laughs> we got paradise. It says happiness, expan happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So for some of you, you already got a new boo. Or this is getting ready to come in for you. Paradise, some of you could even be going on vacation. Some of you could be on some Stella Got a Groove back shit. Maybe you go on vacation somewhere where it's a sun, a beach, a water, or island or some shit. And you may end up meeting somebody there. You may have a vacation boo when you get there. Like real shit. 
It's like you are living your best life. You're hanging out with friends. You're taking trips. You're planning shit. You're getting back doing the shit that you love. Healing, okay? And now somebody's missing you because they just got their heart broken. They just got stabbed in the back and they realize like, damn, anybody you do you dirty out here. I should have just stuck with the collective. Well, let's do that. Yeah, look at that. Dragonfly. Being lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, heal. Yep. This, this shit, this shit, whatever this person did to you is just now coming to the light. Like real shit. They said hand the cards on the bottom of the deck. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, being strategic options, showing hand gambling. Uh-huh. This person tried, this person took a risk. They risked the, the connection or the friendship that y'all had because of these addictions that were attached to them. You know, for some of you, some of you, this person was extremely low, low, uh, vibrate, low vibrational. It says hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Yeah, this is somebody who has a habit of self-sabotage. So it's just like they get good shit or they get blessings that come in and they ruin them. You know what I'm saying? This person's been doing it for a long time. They did it to you too. You know, they took a risk, a gamble on the connection that y'all had. You know what I'm saying? When everything in them, this is somebody who doesn't listen to their intuition. Everything in them was telling them not to do that shit. Don't risk this. Don't gamble that. This is somebody who's really there for you, but they just had to test the waters and they fucked up. Mm-hmm. And now they didn't got backstabbed by somebody that they chose over you or they went towards. Like, this could just be somebody that, say you cut this person off or you broke up with them. Whoever this person is that did them dirty or stabbed them in the back, this is somebody they just went towards after you because they were heartbroken and sad because you weren't fucking with them no more. You know, so this is just somebody they were trying to use to get over you. That shit didn't work. They got stabbed in the motherfucking back out here playing with these karmas. That shit ain't nothing to play with. And now, but them getting stabbed in the back is what triggered this, what triggered this judgment. It's like, damn, like, why did I have to do that to the collective? They really was riding for me. Yeah, so now this person realized, like, damn. Mm-mm. Now they, now they trying to turn into divine masculine and shit. But it's, it's too late. You know what I'm saying? It's not too late for them to turn into a divine masculine or a divine feminine. But it's, it's too late for them to get the opportunity with you. It's just like you and this person, you served your purpose together in this lifetime. This person triggered a change in you to move on to self-love, to vibrate higher, you know, to believe in yourself more and shit. And you triggered this person to realize they need to become a better person. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, the mission is complete here. The mission wasn't for you two to actually come together. It was for you to come together and, and, and trigger the, the change in one another. So, yeah, this person still could turn into divine masculine, divine the feminine, despite what they did. But it just won't be with you. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. Which, um, zodiac signs are significant for this reading. <clears throat> it's something in my throat and shit. Oh, shit. We got Libra out here. And we got Leo. All right, let's see. We got Sagittarius. Yeah, we got fire. So all the all the fire signs are out here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Give me one more. But with that Libra card out there, justice is being served, baby. Yeah, look at that. Tower card. We got Scorpio. That's Pluto. And then we got Pisces on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this person learned a very valuable lesson. So any one of them signs could be significant, or you could be one of them signs watching this video, or one of them signs could be the karmic. It just depends. All right. Let's get into the tarot. Yeah, it's like this person learned a real quick lesson about how to, you know, how to treat people and shit. Like, you tried to backstab the, the collective and, and, and betray the collective, and you thought you were just going to run away scot-free? No, motherfucker. They realized real quick, like, God damn. All right, it's rough out here. Yes, it is. That's why you shouldn't play with everybody. It's hard to meet good, genuine people. So when you meet one, when you meet an earth angel, that's somebody you might want to keep around. That's somebody you might want to... Act like you got some fucking sense. Okay. 
because they don't come around too often. And if you sabotage it, and if you really do something to that person intentionally, oh, you really in, in trouble now. I feel like this person is. This person knew who you was, but like I said, a hand of cards on the bottom of the deck. They risked it and gambled it. The connection, whatever this was that they had with you, whether it was romantic or platonic, they gambled your friendship, your your relationship. They took you for granted and shit because this is somebody who ain't used to shit. They're not used to somebody treating them well, treating them nice and shit. So they sabotaged the connection, thinking that they weren't going to need you or they didn't need you or you were just like everybody else or, or they could find you anywhere, bitches like you anywhere. Yeah, okay. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah, some of you are coming into your divine inheritance. Um, Ten of Pentacles is generational wealth and stability. Some of you can have an increase in your money or your stability. My bad, y'all, for all the bottom noise. Shit. Yeah, and then we got Page of Swords. Like, yeah, some of you have moved on. Like I said, for some of you, we're on different timelines. So for some of you, you already came into the Ten of Pentacles. Other two of you, you're getting ready to go into this. For some of you, you're getting ready to be married and you're going to be married for a very long time. Or you're getting ready to meet somebody that you're going to marry and you're going to be married for a very long time. This person's watching your life. Page of Swords definitely could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But Page of Swords, they're trying to gather information. They're on your social media trying to put two and two together. What are you doing? Where are you going? Who are you talking to? Where you live at? Where you be at? And like this person's looking for anything. Because I told you in the beginning of this reading, this person's trying to reach out to you. So like I said, it's been so long since you talk or heard from this person. They don't, they're not too sure about, you know, whatever information they have last of you. They don't know if you still stay at the same location. They don't know if you still stay, stay at the same place. They don't know what kind of car you drive now. They don't know where you move to. They don't know who you talk to or if you're in a relationship. It's like they have limited information on you, which is why they're trying to spot Page of Swords. They're watching. They're gathering information. They could either be like low-key trying to ask people about you and shit. And it's just almost like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nine of swords reverse. But if they're asking people, <clears throat> if they're asking people about you or what you've been up to and shit, it's like people are telling them that you don't give a fuck about their ass no more. Nine of swords reverse. That's what they're finding out is that you don't give a fuck. <laughs> the nine of swords reverse. Oh shit. Yeah, because you moved on to something else. Look at this. The Ten of Pentacles. You came into your divine inheritance. God is showing you what He has planned next for you. So it's like you don't even think about this person no more. But this person is trying to force their way into your energy. This person is trying to force you to notice them, especially telepathically. That's why you keep... It's like a lot of you, you wake up every day and don't think shit about this person. But this person is trying to get your attention. They're telepathically trying to force, you know, their energy, trying to get you to notice them and shit. That's why you keep seeing their name and hearing songs and shit. Others of you, this person may actually be like reaching out to you. The page of swords is communication. They could be like a DM or a text message. This person may find you on social media and try to send you a message, but it don't even fucking matter. Yeah, four, four of pentacles, overall energy. So overall energy, this is this person holding on to you. Four of pentacles, um, their money could be on a thin stretch right now, I'm hearing. Yeah, six of swords reverse. They can't stop thinking about you. And look at that, ace of swords, it's the truth. The six of swords reverses somebody who wants to spend a block again. This is somebody who left. They moved on, left you behind, thinking that they were going to find something better, and they didn't. Six of swords reverse. Now you're trying to come back around. So this is somebody who's who literally wants to come back towards you. And also, this is somebody you're, you're stuck on this person's mind 24-7. Six of swords reverses. Somebody can't stop thinking about you. Like real shit. Four of pentacles, and they're holding on to your energy. Mm-mm. But, I mean, this person's holding on to your energy with the four of pentacles, but they got blockages and shit. You know what I'm saying? They're blocked off from a lot of shit, or they feel stuck or stagnant or some shit, or shit is just not. This is somebody who has control issues with the four of pentacles. It's like this person tries to hold on to everything because they're not used to shit. It's like when this person gets some money, they try to hold on to it. Even though the four of pentacles is upright, I feel like this is somebody who's stingy. You know what I'm saying? They're not used to shit. So when they get something, they try to hold on to it so tightly to the point where it's like restriction. You know what I'm saying? It's just like shit. This person's energy can't just flow back and forth because they're always trying to hold on to shit. So it's just like they need to let shit go. Like real shit. Okay. 
across the Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, Seven of Cups. This person is confused. They're lost. This person could be daydreaming about the Ten of Pentacles with you. Um, some of you, this could be a Pisces with the Seven of Cups. Some of you got options too, though. You got options out here. Some of you could be dating. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, Seven of Cups and the Fool card. A lot of you are free. You're free from this person, free from this situation. You're out here just you took a leap on yourself, took a leap of faith on yourself, and you're moving forward. You may not know what's getting ready to happen next, but your future does look bright with the Sun card out there. You know, be mindful, though. Don't get too carried away with the Seven of Cups and the Fool card. Don't get too carried away in La La Land and, and the world. Like, you know, don't get me wrong. Like, the Fool card is a new beginning. It's a fresh start. There's nothing wrong with that. But still, pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Seven of Cups and the Fool card. Don't get so caught up in this daydreaming energy that you're not paying attention to what's beneath you. Because in the Fool card, it's like, yeah, you're moving forward. But the cliff ends. You know what I'm saying? Like... So just make sure you're paying attention and shit. Find some food card here. You know what I'm saying? That food card is making me feel like it's like, yeah, you're free. Yeah, you're on a new journey. Yeah, you're doing your thing. But don't just jump off the deep end doing the first thing that you see or investing in the first offer that you get. It's like, no, just relax, breathe, take a, you know, you're on a new journey. You're experiencing something new. You know, it's a new chapter, a new phase of your life. But still, like, really enjoy it. Really stop to smell the roses and shit. I mean, like, you're on this new path. If you go on a new date with somebody, don't just be like, oh, my God, this must be the one. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. You know, just really enjoy what's happening, where you are. Like, be present. Yeah, the horror font reverse. Yeah, so this is somebody, it's a narcissist from your past, could be a Taurus, somebody who's non-committal, somebody who's a tyrant, a bully, somebody who is um entitled, somebody who refused to learn their spiritual lessons and shit. It's like, it's somebody who's inexperienced. It's like, they've been living this life and they still don't know shit. Okay, it's like real shit. It's like, they don't take away nothing from their experiences. It's, this is somebody who just goes from one thing to the next. They cause problems everywhere they go. Well, that's a horror fart reverse. Yeah, page of cups. This person is trying to apologize to you and shit. It's just like, you don't need no fucking apology from them. You're already on a new journey. What the fuck are you apologizing for, page of cups? It's too late for an apology. You want to? You only want to apologize now because you got your karma. You got stabbed in the back. You got done dirty, just like how you done me. Now you want to come back and apologize because you see how that shit feel. No, don't apologize to me, bitch. Just get over it and move on like the fuck I had to do. Period. Why is the page of cups here? Yeah, seven of swords. This person's being sneaky, strategic, calculating. They're really trying to be strategic about how they're going to come in. How they gonna say this apology? How they gonna get you to talk to them and shit? Seven of Swords. This this is still somebody who's up to no good. Seven of Swords. They can't be trusted. That's what I'm saying. You on a new journey, but use your discernment when it comes to these new people that you're meeting because ah, uh, you may not be able to trust all of these new people that you're meeting because the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords out here. These could be new people who are like trying to shoot their shot and shit. Use your discernment because some of these people is uh uh. How's the seven of swords here? Yeah, devil card reverse. So you so it could be in a it could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Um, that's trying to get your in, trying to get into your energy. Um, for some of you. The devil card here, this is somebody who's obsessed with you. They're really, like, deep into this obsessive, toxic behavior. Um, how's the devil card reverse? Yeah, this is somebody who can't get out of this devil energy. They're stuck in that shit. Three of Pentacles, yeah, but they want to work with you, though. No, you don't work with the devil. Like, the fuck? Like, no. I 
comes the three of pentacles here. You will never collaborate with the devil. Like, yeah, look at that. Justice reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this could be a Libra. But like, some of you, this person is going through legal issues and shit. That's what I'm saying. This person knows that they lost. They know they lost. They know it's over. They know why this shit is happening to them. Power five reverse, justice reverse. This person is really getting heavy karma right now. And they know why. They're having to explain something here with the three of pentacles. They may have to go to court. They may have to go, go, um, they may have to go to court or they have a court hearing or a court appearance. They have to explain some shit here. Like you see how this person's flashing their light. It's like they're being questioned here or something about something. Mm -hmm. Lots of page of swords here. Page of swords. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Yeah, because you're single and living your best life. You're single, you're financially secure, financially stable, independent, you're looking good. Like I said, y'all be careful because somebody's really watching. This feels this is like pocket watching too. Like somebody's watching like they're trying to figure out like where you get your money from or something. Because the nine of pentacles is a is a really independent, self-sufficient energy. Now the pentacles is somebody who don't need shit. They don't even need a relationship. They're good by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Everything around them is lush and green and glowing and shit. You're just single. You know what I'm saying? You're in your single hood, your single moment. Your single season. Why is the um now the pentacles here? Yeah, moon card reverse. Oh, moon card reverse. I told you something has been revealed here. A secret came out. Something that was somebody trying to hide. It's public knowledge now. Why is the moon card reverse? Yeah, five of cups. Yeah, that's somebody that's sad and heartbroken over you. Five of cups. Yep, somebody is sad and heartbroken. They truly lost you. This is somebody who tried to act like they didn't want you. They were good without you and shit. It's like, oh yeah, I collect don't fuck with me no more. It's cool though, you know. Fuck them. I'm moving on. I'm happy and shit. That's not what's going on here. This person is sad, heartbroken, crying over spilled milk and shit. This person is jaded. Like I said, because they tried to move on. Look, the three cups is spilled over. It's spilled over. You know, the three of cups talks about dating, socializing, mingling and shit. This person knew they had the two of cups with you, but they didn't want to stop dating. They didn't want to stop socializing and shit with other people and shit. So they lost out on the two of cups. Mm-mm. the five of cups here. It's like this person was trying to keep their options open with you, but they didn't want you to keep your options open. Like It's like this person wanted you to stay still. They were trying to control the situation. Like They want you to sit at home and stay still while they go out and do, do them with the three of cups and shit out here. No. Nah. Because it was something about this three of cups or the three of cups is cancer energy. So it's something about a cancer that they just had to see about or wanted to know about or... They just want to fuck one time or something. Because three of cups is like one night stand energy too. So yeah, this person just wanted to see what was up with somebody. You know what I'm saying? They knew they had a connection with you, two of cups. But they gambled it. They risked it. They took a chance and took a risk because it was something about this three of cups energy that they wanted to see about. And this three of cups energy got them involved into some bullshit. Mm-mm. Lots of five of cups here. Now somebody is all sad, jaded, cloaked in heartbreaking pain and grief and suffering, lost, crying and shit. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this person was moving extremely slow as well. Taking too long to make you an offer and shit. Why the Knight of Pentacles here? Yeah, King of Pentacles. Yeah, now they want to get on the right path. Now they want to try to be loyal and be a provider and be the person that they should have been from the beginning. Like now they want they want to act like they got integrity, like they believe in relationships, like they're ready to provide, like they're ready to protect, they're ready to stand up, they're ready to be a husband or a boyfriend and shit. They want to be some somebody reliable and dependable and shit. I right, nah, bro. 
Also the Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles here. Some of you, or some of you, this is a new person that's moving into your energy. Some of you may be feeling like, damn, it took a hell of a long time, but you're meeting somebody that's coming in with this really grounded, humble-ass energy. For some of you, it's an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. But Knight of Pentacles, this person is going to move slow, but they're moving slow because they have the intentions of the Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody who is ready for a relationship. This is somebody who's ready for to be a husband, to be a boyfriend, is ready for marriage and shit. Somebody is coming in here, but you have to be patient and shit. Knight of Pentacles, they're coming. You know, this is somebody who doesn't rush. You know, somebody who really takes their time and shit. Make sure shit is solid. Make sure the groundwork is built solidly. But that's what you want. You know, even though you're on this new journey and you could be meeting people and there's people interested in you and shit, it's still that you don't want to just jump at the first offer. You got to wait. You got to use your discernment and make sure that, you know, motherfuckers is really who they say they are. You know what I'm saying? Somebody want to take you on a date. Cool. Let's see how consistent you can be. I feel like this King of Pentacles is a really grounded, consistent person. You're going to like their energy because you're not going to feel pressure. You're not going to feel rushed. It's not going to feel superficial or weird or any of that, you know? It's going to feel safe and secure is what it's going to feel like. You know what I'm saying? Because this is somebody who's stable too and got money with the King of Pentacles. So it's just like something may start off extremely slow here. I ain't going to say extremely slow, but it's going to be at a steady pace. Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, it may go for a steady, it might go on a steady pace, but eventually it's going to lead to the Ace of Pentacles. Like real shit, you could be dating somebody out here, but the dating is just like really slow or it will be. That's the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, Two of Cups. It's a real connection out here, but it's with somebody brand fucking new. It's not with this person from your past. This person from your past, they lost. Five of Cups, it's over. You know? They lost their chance. They Now they're all sad and heartbroken and shit. They got to heal from that. They'll be all right. But you got a new connection out here, the Two of Cups. Somebody who's really on your level. Somebody who's equally yoked. The Two of Cups is like somebody who's your best friend and your lover. So this is going to be somebody who really takes their time and really get to know you. They want to know about you, how you think, what you like, what you don't like. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is somebody your ex that's somebody too entitled you know what i'm saying yeah your ex is a coward some of you your ex is a leo this person from the past they're in this coward ass energy like i said whoever this person is from your past they did you dirty and because they were too ashamed or too guilty and shit to come back and apologize to you in order to make something right they lost their spot you know what i'm saying like who the fuck are you to do somebody like how you backstab or betray somebody and then you too good to come back and apologize and shit you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you don't have to give nobody an apology. No. But this is the same motherfucker that always showing up in the energy and shit. How you too good to apologize, but you want somebody back. That don't make sense. You can't want somebody back, want somebody back in your life and shit, but you refuse to apologize after you did them wrong. That's not how shit work. You have to correct your wrongs, right your wrongs. We're here to make some mistakes. This is somebody who don't like to be called out on their shit. This is somebody who doesn't believe they do anything wrong or... All that type of weird ass shit like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Nobody has time for that. I don't never do anything lame ass behavior. Like, fuck out of here, bitch. You know, you dealing with an ignorant motherfucker when they just, they clearly did some fucked up shit and they still refuse to apologize. Like, who are you? But And then got the audacity to still want to collect the back. Now you so in love and so heartbroken and shit over the collector because you don't have control no more. You lost control of the situation. You ain't controlling shit. This motherfucker don't even got control of their own life. They got legal issues going on. They getting karma. All type of shit going on. For some of you, this could even be like, I don't know, something here because with the page of swords and the justice reverse, there could be somebody getting interrogated and shit. Somebody being like pulled in for questioning and shit. It's like they could be involved in a legal situation that you don't know about where some, some foul shit happened. And that is person going down with their ass too. Mm-hmm. 
Because even, like I said, that three of cups, whatever this person was distracted by instead of the two of cups that they had with you, the three of cups can also be like social circles and friend groups. So they could have even got, they could have did something with somebody that they thought was a friend and stabbed them in the back and did them dirty. So it could have been a friend or somebody that they were late, I mean, um, somebody that they were trying to date or see what was up with, whatever this friend group, wherever this person was that they thought was so much exciting, then that two of cups that they had with you, ooh, that shit got their ass real good. I was talking about real good. Ooh, I was a strength card reverse. Yeah, because look at you. You're the queen of cups. Pure hearted, sweet, loving, caring, nurturing, just still pure at heart. Have good intentions for people. Still warm, giving, loving, caring. You know what I'm saying? You're still the same person. Whatever this person did to you didn't change you. But, oh, it definitely changed them. <laughs> Real shit. Ace of Cups. I mean, not the Ace of Cups, but the Queen of Cups. But look at you looking at your own cup. It's like through this situation, through this experience, you realize like, damn, my cup really is special. <laughs> yes, it is. Divine Feminine, it is. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Yeah, four of wands. Mm -hmm. You're destined. You got the ten of pentacles and the four of wands out here. Like the next relationship you get in, knight of pentacles, king of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Some of you are going to get engaged and married to somebody. Like real shit. You probably not even going to fucking believe it. You're going to be like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> you're not even going to believe it. Like, you're going to be like, because this, this is a. This is an amazing, this is a blessing to have this type of relationship. The Ten of Pentacles upright, the Four of Wands upright, the Two of Cups upright. That's somebody you're equally yoked with. You Four of Wands, you may even buy a home with this person. You definitely going to get money with this person. Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, this person going to give you a nice ass ring too. And the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. This person is financially responsible. They're responsible with their money, but they do like nice shit. So when it comes to them proposing to you or marrying you, with this Ace of Pentacles, you could date this person for a year and end up getting engaged. But yeah, like this person's going to buy you a nice ass ring. This is somebody who sees that much in you or they're going to. Like real shit. <laughs> and I feel like you are going to be so shocked. You're going to be like, how I go from the Nine of Pentacles to the fucking... Two of Cups, Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Like, you gonna go from, yeah, I'm single, I'm living my best life, to boom, like, I'm getting engaged. Like, I'm gonna have somebody else's last name. <laughs> like, real shit. Ooh-wee. Mm-hmm. Sun card reverse. Some of y'all got a sad ass. It's a sad ass Leo out here. Oh, my God. Somebody who just lost, man. They are not happy. This person is depressed. They're sad. They feel weak. They're just not at their best right now. Wants the strength for a reverse. Two of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, whoever this Leo is, their money could be fucked up right now with the Two of Pentacles reverse. They could be in debt, you know, struggling. They can't borrow no money from nobody and shit right now. Or it's just like they tried to juggle you and that shit didn't work. It's just like, fuck no. Yeah, judgment. They were called out for some shit. Ooh, wee. Mm -mm. Judgment has been called, okay? How's the nine of swords reverse? Ace of cups. Yeah, somebody's crying. Because then you don't give a fuck. And it's just like you give zero fucks and then ace of cups. New love comes in. New love is on the bottom of the deck. You have a new offer out here. You're getting a second chance in love. Even though a lot of you have been in that space of like, you know, maybe it's just not meant to be for me in this lifetime. Maybe that shit just ain't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? No, it's going to happen, but in divine timing. But it's just like, it's something here that you had to let go of. Something that you had to get completely out your system before God was going to bless you with whatever this is. You had to get really comfortable with just being in the nine of pentacles. Being by yourself. Doing shit alone. I'm talking about spirit wanted you completely content in that energy. So you can understand that you don't need anybody. But you in the divine you're always going to be taken care of, period. Not in the pentacles. You're always going to be cared for. You know what I'm saying? But you have, you just have to be comfortable in that energy. Because for a lot of you, you were still in this place. Like, a lot of you, you weren't even talking to this person no more. Or you've already blocked this person. But something within you was still holding on. Hoping that this person came back. Hoping that this person returned. 
hoping that this person apologizes and y'all can fix things and reconcile, but that shit ain't never happened. It's like you were holding on to the idea that this person was just going to get their shit together and come back around, but that's not how shit has played out here. It's like, yeah, this person wants to come around now, but it's for the wrong reasons. You know what I'm saying? The time frame that they had to show up and make this right, they missed the window of opportunity. So it's like they're coming back now, but they're trying to come back now when you're already free. You're free from this shit. You're no longer waiting or holding on to the idea that this person's going to come back and make some shit right and y'all going to walk off into the sunset holding hands and shit. That shit just ain't going to happen. You've already let go of that notion. It's like, oh, this person ain't coming back. They fucked up out here. They just doing whatever. They ain't never giving a fuck about me. So, fool car, you freed yourself. You moved on. You got comfortable in this non of pentacles energy. And now God is going to deliver that ace of pentacles to you. The real blessing. The real husband. The real wife. Mm-hmm. Now this person crying and shit. Ace of cups. Oh, shit. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. I told you. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. You got two aces out here. Blessings are coming in. You've learned. You completed this karmic cycle, and now blessings are coming in. Wheel of Fortune, divine timing. I just said that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ten of Wands. This person is so burdened. It's like you carried the weight of this situation for a long time. Like real shit. It's just like this shit. You should just be heavy on you. You know what I'm saying? But this is somebody else's problem now. You don't have to carry the weight of this shit, but this person does. Oh, look at that. Six of, six of swords. I mean, six of wands reverse fail. This person fell from grace. Five of pentacles reverse. They keep trying to recover their finances and shit. It's like they're in a really tough spot. They're really going through something with the ten of wands that's heavy, that's stressful. It's wearing their ass out. It's making them feel like they want to give up or they're always tired and shit. Six of wands reverse is somebody who was fell from grace. They lost their position. This person is not respected anymore because people found out what they did. Moon card reverse. Mm -hmm. They found out who this person really was. Somebody who's a loser. Somebody who's jealous. Somebody who's always throwing shade. Somebody who's a follower instead of a leader. Like this person's mask has been snatched off. Judgment. People know this person to be a fraud now. A fake. A loser. They've been exposed. Like you ain't no real fucking leader, bitch. You just a liar. <laughs> Real shit, five principles. Now they want to come out of the cold and shit. Yeah, Emperor Reverse. I told you this is somebody who has potential, but they lack integrity. This is somebody I told you this person is entitled. They feel like they shouldn't have to do the work. But who the fuck are you to think you don't got to do no fucking work? Everybody has to do the work, bitch. That's what I'm saying. This person thinks that they can get around the shit by lying and 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 following what other people do like this could be somebody who's like they like to clout chase the shit this is somebody who feels like they just gonna be at they be able to latch on to somebody else's success and then they gonna be good when that's not how the fuck is working universe is breaking their ass down ten of wands with the six of wands reverse motherfucker you didn't lost all respect from your peers whatever platform this is or this image that you try to uphold Motherfuckers see the real you now. Judgment is upright in the six of wands in reverse. If this person was well respected and shit, motherfuckers don't care about that shit no more. And the six of wands can be somebody that's attractive, somebody that gets a lot of attention. The, the emperor reverse is somebody who's handsome and attractive too, but it's in the reverse. This is somebody who's still fine, but people don't even give a fuck about that. They don't care about the fact that you look good. You're a loser. You lack integrity. You do people wrong. You're, you're narcissistic. You feel like you ain't got to apologize. You're entitled. You're an asshole. Like, people don't to fuck with this person it's like you're too hard to get you're too difficult to get along with in the emperor reverse you be a deadly baby daddy a cheater a terrible husband it's like this person's hand has been shown and now like now people are not fucking with them six of wands reverse they got a bad reputation or they're known for something that's not good clout chasing and attention seeking and and doing all that weird ass shit it's just like what the fuck you a grown ass man with kids for some of you with a wife and you out here acting like this, like you're a clown. Like for real. I was in reverse. Some of you just hit the Aries. Yeah, look at that. Night of Swords. This person want to rush in with communication. This could even be somebody that ghosted you. I really shit. Now this person wants to rush in with communication with Night of Swords. Now they want to talk to you oh so bad for what? Why is the Night of Swords here? 
Yeah, tower. Look at that. Unexpected communication. Nine of Swords with the Tower card. I'm telling you, this person's going to find a way to contact you, to reach out to you and shit. And it's going to catch you off guard. You're going to be like, what? You know what I'm saying? Or something got exposed here. I told you about the tower here. Yeah, look at that. It's, the love is reverse is sex, but it's sex. The love is reverse is having sex with somebody you ain't got no business having sex with. Or this person, it's like it's been exposed that they were still fucking on somebody. Either somebody from their past, an ex, a Gemini, a Scorpio, or they were just, it, whatever they were doing inside this tower has been exposed, blown to fucking smithers, okay? The love is reversed. This person has been exposed for fucking somebody, still fucking on somebody that they told you they weren't fucking on, or fucking somebody that just, period, they ain't had no business fucking on. Like, real shit. Mm -mm. Why is the lover's card here? Lover's card reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Yeah, they could have still been fucking a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius female that they told you they weren't still fucking. Or just, if she's not an air sign, just some bitter-ass female. Mm -hmm. Or, like, might not even be still fucking. Just because they could have just fucked whoever this Queen of Swords reverse is. And they just try to keep that shit hidden in the tower for a long-ass time. They didn't want you to know that they fucked this Queen of Swords reverse. But it's exposed now. Tower with the Lovers reverse and the Queen of Swords reverse. It's exposed that they fucked whoever this bitter-ass woman is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, King of Swords. I mean, King of Wands reverse because they were on some whole shit. The truth is finally being revealed. Mm -hmm. King of Wands reverse. King of Wands reverse is a, Je a Jezebel. But look, they're in love with you, though. King of Cups. The fuck? Mm -mm. Yeah, I told you. Something had this person's attention with that. That five of cups, that three of cups that was spilled over, something had this person's attention. It was something that they were intrigued. If they knew they shouldn't have gambled, they shouldn't have took a risk, they shouldn't have took a chance on whatever that three of cups reversed. The three of cups in that five of cups card is the three of cups that was laying on the ground was already spilled over. So it was something that they knew that if they touched that or if they went over there or if they did that, it would get messy. And they did it anyway. Cost them their relationship with you. Cost them their fucking reputation. It cost them every fucking thing. Real shit. Now this person's also in love with you and shit. Now they want to explain some shit. Now the swords, they want to rush in. They want to talk. They want to communicate and shit. Fuck no. We ain't got shit to talk about, motherfucker. Like, yeah, look at that. Star card reverse. This person's lacking hope. They're feeling hopeless. Yeah, look at that. Three of Cups reverse. Mm hmm Told you. Gossip. The shit got messy. Whatever this person tried to do, it could have been involving an Aquarius or a Cancer. The shit got messy. Whatever this person was doing, they, they were trying to keep hitting in that tower. Whoever this person was, they fucked that you knew. Three of Cups reverse. They tried to keep that shit a secret because they were in love with you. But it came out anyway. Yeah, look at that. Death card. It's over. Death card. It is over. Four of Pentacles reverse. This person still trying to hold on to you. It don't matter. It really don't. It's like they're wasting their time doing it. Like, you need to be working on yourself. Not trying to hold on to somebody that don't want you. Yeah, justice is being served. Ooh, woo. This person thought they were going to keep this shit in the tower forever. Yeah, look at the Empress reverse. Yeah, for some, some of you, they could have been married or in a relationship. They're just a cheater. This person was doing all kind of whole shit. It's like they could have been married in a relationship with somebody. Then they could have been cheating with you and then cheating with one of your friends. It's somebody extremely messy. And whoever this is, why is it in reverse? Or they could be going through a divorce. You could be finding that out too. It's like, what? Are you a married? Yeah, not a close reverse. Mm -hmm. And shit, they baby mama or they wife could have been cheating on it with somebody younger too. A little knight of cups reverse. Somebody who was love bombing them, gaslighting her. I mean, yeah, somebody who was this Knight of Cups reverse that she was cheating on this Emperor reverse with, he was love bombing her and gaslighting her, telling her all the shit she wanted to hear, a little water sign, and got into her drawers and shit because the Empress reverse is somebody who don't know they worth. The Emperor and the Empress reverse is somebody who don't know they worth. So you got these two low vibrational toxic motherfuckers together out of codependency, trying to keep up some image. Like they like they couple goals and shit. Whole time they cheating on each other. This this loser ass bitch, this Empress reverse, she know. 
this person is a deadbeat husband or a deadbeat de baby daddy, but because she's trying to keep up this image of I can keep a man type shit, she still stayed with this person. Even though they were sneaking around, cheating on her, in love with somebody else and all type of shit, she was over here entertaining this little knight of cups reverse who was love bombing her and shit. Mm-hmm, telling her everything she wanted to hear because she wasn't getting no attention from this emperor reverse. Mm-hmm. So she over here getting loved by, by a water sign, a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody's definitely younger than her. The Knight of Cups, the Knights can be somebody that's like in their early 20s. And for some of you, they're, they're late teens too. Somebody could be like between the age of like 18 to, to 22 type shit. And her old ass, the thir <laughs> she ain't old, but she she the Empress is at least 30. So she fucking with somebody who gaslighting her, love bombing her, just telling her what they want to hear and shit. And she not knowing no fucking better. She just tired of this empty reverse, but won't leave him. Tired of not getting no attention. Tired of putting his needs before her own and still getting done wrong and shit. So she caught herself with well, shit. I'm finna do it because you doing it type shit. Yeah, nine of wands. Mm -hmm. Now somebody's mad, irritated, bothered. Yeah. Like, who does that? What kind of bitch thinks like that? Obviously, Empress Reverse, a bitch that don't know her work. Like, bitch, you want to keep up an image so bad that you're married and you got a man and all this. But what's the point, bitch, when you're not even fucking happy? What's the point when this nigga, when a motherfucker dogging you out behind the scenes? What is the fucking point? It ain't one. You're not getting shit out of that, bitch. To the point where you got to cheat with somebody younger. Somebody that you know they can't do shit for you just because this grown-ass man refused to grow up and don't pay your ass no attention. <sighs> now the wands. Now you bothered. Now you mad. Now you got an attitude. Now you projecting your anger. Now you got trust issues and shit, girl. Yeah, two of wands reversed. Now, now, now you feeling like you chose the wrong path. You should have went a different way. You never should have got with them, married them, had a kid by them. Well, it's too late for that bitch. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah, Tempest Reverse. I told you somebody mad. It could be a Sagittarius bitch out here that's pissed. A Sagittarius Empress Reverse. Uh-huh, bitch. We know. You're sad. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles Reverse. Yeah, because the bitch was only in it for the money. She thought this Empress Re Emperor Reverse was going to take care of her. Girl... This motherfucker can't take care of you. He can't even take care of himself. The emperor versus somebody who lacks purpose. He don't even know the direction in his life. He don't know where he going. And he's accumulating so much negative karma, bitch. He ain't got no money. He ain't got no money. Like, period. The justice is in reverse. He's going through some type of legal case where he's trying to recover his finances, bitch. Five of pen schools with her. He ain't got no damn money. Like, so she not getting what she, she not getting no love, no attention, no sex, no dick, no money, no nothing. It's like a fucking waste of time. Yeah, look at that. Could be a Libra or a Taurus they're married to. Capricorn or Taurus or a Virgo. Or um Sagittarius. Or it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be anybody. But they were definitely in a relationship. They were either married to somebody. Because the emperor and empress is out here in reverse. Or they were in some type of long-term relationship with somebody that they had kids with. You know how them baby moms and baby daddies be getting together and they be together for years and never accomplish shit? That's them. They wanted to keep up this image. Oh, we got history. We thugged it out. We've been together 10 plus years. Okay, but what the fuck do that mean when you ain't got shit to show for it? You been with this motherfucker 10 years and bitch, the only thing you been getting is backstabbed and betrayed, bitch. You ain't got shit to show for it. And truth be told, you don't even want to be bothered with them kids y'all got either. Mm -hmm. let's keep it all the way 100 bitch because i see it out here like you don't even want to be bothered with some kids you had with this motherfucker to be honest because the empress reverse is a terrible mother that's somebody who don't pay attention to her kids and shit she can't she the empress reverse is depleted her she her energy is drained she don't have it to give so it's just like bitch you did all this for what you did all that bragging and Oh, I got a man, and we been together for 15 years, but for what? You ain't got shit to show for it, bitch. You ain't got no land. You ain't got no businesses. For some of y'all, these two motherfuckers just been together for a long time. They ain't even, this is, uh, they ain't even actually married. You know, these are two people who were just known for being together because they've been around each other for so long. 
Like, bitch, so you never actually got a fucking ring. You done had all these kids. There's no love in this relationship, in this marriage. Ten of cups reversed. Family secrets coming out. Family being messy. Motherfuckers not getting along. Yo, her side piece being revealed. His side piece being revealed. It's, it's just like, it's, oh my God. A straight mess. Yeah, seven of wands reversed. Whatever this is, this shit is completely fucking embarrassing. Yeah, queen of wands reversed. They could have been fucking around some hoe. A queen of wands. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Like, whoever this masculine energy is, all his little secrets are just being exposed. The tower. The tower with the lovers reversed, the queen of swords reversed. Now we got a queen of wands reversed out here. This person's been then fucked multiple women on this emperor's reverse. Not just one, multiple. It's showing two. It's showing at least three. The Queen of Swords reverse, a Queen of Wands reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. At least three different bitches. But they're they're in love with you though. This is so yeah, you're the high priestess. <laughs> Look, it's four different women out here. Five if you want to include the Empress reverse, but it's the Queen of Wands reverse, the Queen of Swords reverse, the Queen of Pentacles reverse. The Empress reverse, and then you, the High Priestess. You don't want to know everything that's going on about this shit, but you're not saying shit. Or you're listening to a reader that's getting you hip on this shit, you're not saying shit. But these people shit is big. This shit is being blown to smithers. They are getting exposed. This person that fucked a lot of people on this Empress reverse, this bitch who thought that she was going to be the chosen one. She thought this masculine was going to change. He was going to marry her. He was going to do it for the kids and all that. And the only thing this bitch thing got is embarrassed. And this motherfucker is still in love. He's in love with the high priestess, but he knows the high priestess is psychic, intuitive. He knows the high priestess knows what type of time he be on. You know the high priestess ain't going. So he just kept doing what he always do. He been out here for, he been on some, on some straight hoe shit. King of Wands reverse. This is this person who was supposed to be on Twin Flame and shit. They left you to be with this Empress reverse because she was stupid enough to believe that they were going to be together and they going to end up together and all this shit if she just stuck beside them and shit. This person been dogging her ass out for a long ass time. I'm talking about hoes everywhere. Queen of Wands reverse, Queen of Swords reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Empress reverse. I mean, he done, done a lot of women dirty, but he's only in love with the High Priestess. But the, he know the High Priestess know. So he know he can't come towards you with the bullshit. That's why he, that's why he in love with you because you the only one who got some sort of self-respect. I'm talking about this is a messy situation. It's several people involved. Several women. One masculine who just been hoeing around. Just embarrassing. Ugh. Like, oh my God. And then one of these women, like I said, with the tower and the lovers reverse. One of these bitches that this masculine slept with, you know. Like, you know. You know one of these hoes that he slept with. And I'm talking about you really know her. Like, this ain't just no random ass bitch. One of them bitches that he slept with was either like a, a old best friend or a relative or something. Because this, per, this person suffers from addiction and shit. Look at that. Addiction. Like real shit. They, 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 they can't stop. They don't know how to stop being a whore. It's, it's a spirit, an entity on them. Yeah, page of wands reverse. And for some of you, you can know this person is burning now. Mm-hmm. They can have an STD now, and they don't even know who they got it from. Yeah, look at that Ace of Wands. They want a new opportunity with you. Absolutely the fuck not. Ace of Wands. I think the fuck not. You don't want that dirty-ass wand from this person. Yeah, hang man. For some of you, it could be a Pisces or a Virgo or a Gemini. Yeah, magician reverse. This is why you just don't know how to stop playing games. Somebody here is crazy. That real shit. Yeah, two of swords. Yeah, you're ignoring this person. You don't give a fuck. That's the second I don't give a fuck card. You got the nine of swords reverse and the two of swords upright. You're ignoring this person. You're blind. You got the blindfold on. I don't see this person. I don't hear them. You're ignoring all this shit. All them that, that telepathic shit. Goodbye, motherfucker. Leave a message. Like, mm-mm. You ain't coming back over here with this shit. 
I think mean, you've been exposed for being a big ass whore, and now you think you're gonna come back over here to the collective? Yeah, six of cups. I told you this is an ex from your past, somebody that you got bad blood with. Yeah, that shit backfired on your ass. Five of swords reverse. All them games that they played is finally catching up with their ass. Finally. Yeah, eight of swords. And for some of you, like I said, for some of you, this person really been doing shit they ain't got no business doing. Because the seven of swords here, seven of swords is sneaky, a thief, a liar, a fraud. So I don't know if this person been stealing something. Stealing something from these bitches. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but Eight of Swords, this person's all up in their head. Like real shit. Page of Pentacles. They're trying to get back on a good foot with you. Like, no. I don't understand. Like, Spirit, why does this person want to get back in good with the collective? Like, how is that gonna help them when they got all this other shit going on? How is them getting back good in the collective? Because the King of Cups is upright. So yeah, this motherfucker's in love with you. Yeah, Ten of Swords reverse. Cause maybe this this person Five of Wands. So, yeah, it's drama, chaos, bullshit and going on. But the Ten of Swords reverse is like somebody who knows they did you wrong. You know what I'm saying? Ten of Swords reverse is like a major backstab and betrayal. So, maybe this person feels like it's like all these hoes that they fucked, but specifically what they did to you is the reason why all this shit is happening to them. This is just sick and disgusting. Yeah, four of swords. Yeah, this person can't sleep. It's like this person's used to being a whore. They're used to bitches just falling over falling all over them, getting what they want, all this type of shit. But because they tried to do this shit, they they ten of swords, they backstabbed and betrayed the fucking high priestess. That's what got this person shit fucked up and they know it. They know it. They know it. It's just like, damn, I done fucked over a lot of bitches, but ain't shit like this ever happened to me. And I know it's because I fucked over the high priestess. I know it. Yeah, and all the cuss reverse, they're miserable. This person feels like they don't got no support, so support system right now. Nobody cares about what they going through and shit. Yeah, chariot reverse. They may have to pay child support to a cancer or something. Yeah, you want nothing to do with them. Hermit reverse with the Eight of Cups. This is like, nah, you can't come back over here. But some of you, this might be a, uh. Yeah, this person's game. Because for some of you, this was a covert narcissist. Yeah, Three of Wands reverse. This person is a distraction. Yeah, Six of Swords, they want to come back around. This person cannot stop thinking about you. And they keep trying to call you back to back to back. Whether it's energetically or literally trying to call your phone. They're trying to come back around because they're repeating a cycle. But this person is bitter, detached, and a liar. And they got a bunch of shit going on. They're involved in some mess. And like I said, for some of you, this person wants to just come back around so they can get you involved in this shit. But yeah, like, this is this is somebody who's used to doing this shit. This is a covert narcissist. This is somebody who tries to pretend. Because they, they were married. They had a bitch at home. Married or a baby mother or something. Somebody that they've been with for a very long time. But she tolerated the shit. Like this king of king, this emperor reverse, king of wands reverse, king of cups person. This is your ex. This person is so used to getting what they want. They're used to being able to cheat in relationships, do all this type of shit, and bitches still stay around. You know, bitches never leave them. Bitches still spin a block, all this type of shit. But this shit right here, they fuck with the wrong one, and their whole shit is like crashing down. That's why they're in the ten of wands, stressed out. Feeling overwhelmed, getting exposed, people not want to fuck with them no more. I'm talking, they're paying for this shit heavy, and they be they may be trying to act like that shit ain't bothering them, but it definitely is. So now they're trying to hurry up and come back towards you, get back in good with you because they feel like none of this shit start happening until they fucked you over. But oh well, they know it. This person knew it. They've been new. They've been new that all this shit that's been happening to them ain't for no reason. Cause like I said, they've been doing this shit for a very, very long time. They've been cheating. They've been being a hoe and doing all type of shit. The moment they try to do that shit to a chosen one, they like been falling a fucking part ever since. Like it's been getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And they looking around like, damn, goddamn, why? Like I cheat all the time. Why the fuck is this shit? Like why are these bitches ganging up on me now? Like why the fuck am I getting hit with with court cases and all type of shit going on now? It's cause you fuck with a chosen one. If you wanted to be a rat and you wanted to fuck with hoes, you should have kept that shit where the hoes and rats be at. You tried to bring that shit to a divine one? Are you out your fucking mind, you idiot? But yeah, so they're desperately trying to reach out to you, whether it's energetically or literally, because a lot of you got this person blocked. But this shit is over with. Go heal. Live your best life. Leave this person in their misery. So...
this has been a reading. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit, and I will holler at y'all later. Peace.